Hey, what's up guys? Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com with another exclusive tutorial. Today we'll be going over the front-facing camera mod for the T-Mobile Vibrant. No one has covered this in video form, so today I will be doing this. And this is a very popular mod that allows us to use the i9000 based uh, camera assembly from the uh, European version, uh, basically of this phone, and allows you to add front-facing camera to your T-Mobile Vibrant. So let's go ahead and get started. Maybe you kind of step-by-step -step process. Get the battery cover off to begin with. Make sure you've already powered down the phone. Once you have, you can pop out the battery and set it aside. Now we're going to be talking about removing all the screws. There's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to start with. So go ahead and grab a small electronic based uh, screwdriver. You can actually get a, uh, a glasses repair kit type screwdriver and just start removing all of the screws that we just mentioned. Set them aside and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, once we've removed all the screws, we want to use a safe pry tool or something with a very flat edge that's going to allow us to get in between the screen bezel and the actual back plastic. Now remember, the screen bezel stays on the LCD. We're not removing the bezel. So if you start seeing the bezel pop off, hold up. You don't want to break the bezel. Uh, it actually comes off with the screen. It doesn't come off with uh, the back cover as it may appear. But you're basically going to try to work this little guy into the crevices of the foam and you're going to start being able to slowly pop it off like that. So you can see I'm working around the edge there and the entire screen assembly is coming off. Now we've already done the other side and we've worked it all the way around the perimeter. It's going to start coming off like that. Then you can kind of pretty much just go ahead and lightly apply some pressure and the entire assembly will come off like that. This is going to leave our front bezel on. If you see that it's popped up a little bit, just kind of push it back down and it will snap back into place and go nice and flush again. So now we've gotten the back cover off, set it aside, and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, now that we've gotten the back cover off, we can go ahead and remove our original camera assembly. Get a flathead, or maybe if you have a fingernail, and kind of pop up on the pop ribbon connector. From there, you can gently remove it. Be careful not to damage it in case you decide that this mod isn't working out for you. You can always reinstall the original. Uh, but once we remove that, we can take a closer look at the uh, the hole that we're going to be focusing on here. And it's right there. Now see this hole right here, you can kind of see in there, that's the front facing camera hole that we're going to try to use uh, for our front facing camera. You can see that it's got paint over it right now. Now this exact casing is used in the i9000 series. The motherboard's the same, all the hardware's the same, so it's kind of a wonder why they didn't use the front facing camera. The only thing I can think of is they couldn't work out like an agreement with some type of major software manufacturer to get a default front-facing camera app. So that's all I can really think of. So they elected to install a single camera and uh, paint over that. So go ahead and remove your camera at this time. And we'll talk about some ways to actually remove that paint. And we'll get ready to set up our new front-facing camera system in the phone. Okay, for this next step, we're going to use a very informative post uh, from our RELs on XDA developers. Um, that's an outstanding post. Before this, a lot of people were just drilling a hole They're using a Dremel tool to cut away the glass. Uh, you can actually simply remove the paint on the back side. So what we're going to be using today is uh, some adhesive remover. This is just some cheap stuff that I happened to find at my local HEB when I was uh, doing some grocery shopping today. So uh, Gooby Gone is probably higher to be highly recommended for this as well. You can really use a lot of stuff, paint thinner, uh, you could use uh, brake cleaner. Um, I don't know, I'm not gonna technically recommend those simply because I don't know how they're gonna react with plastics, but light applications shouldn't have an issue. So basically what you would wanna do here is remove the cap, flip it over, apply to this, kind of wring it out, make sure that you're not going to have a whole lot of excess, and then you'd want to apply it on to the location where the front facing camera is. You would relieve that, set it down, wait 30 seconds, come back, reapply the, uh, the adhesive remover to the clean side of the sponge of the uh, Q-tip, and then we would slowly start to work like this. Now this is obviously not going to happen quite as quickly as I'm showing you here. I've actually done a little bit of work. You may spend a couple minutes on this. Uh, and once you have cleaned 
uh, we're taking a very small flathead screwdriver and we're doing a circular 360 motion like this with very light pressure. We don't want to scratch the screen all up. And as we're doing this, we'll notice that we're beginning to get a hole uh, where we are uh, got some visibility coming through. And on the back side, we're seeing that as well. So the idea here is after every uh, couple of rotations with the screwdriver with light impression, we'll take another clean Q-tip and some uh, adhesive remover, put it in there, and we'll slowly clean until we get a perfectly round, perfectly clear hole for our camera to see through. So go ahead and start that process now. Get a hole visible and try to clean it up the best you can, and we'll proceed to the next step. Okay, we're now looking at our finished product. Um, we've gone ahead and run a blow dryer uh, with compressed air over ours to make sure that everything's clean. We've also taken one more clean Q-tip and given it a once over with a dry Q-tip to make sure that there is no uh, residue left. So the Q-tip comes out nice and clean. We've got a nice evenly spaced circle. Uh, for our front facing camera. So once you've got yours looking about like that, we can go ahead and go to the next step. Okay, once we've gotten our camera hole cleaned up, we want to go ahead and take our new camera. Uh, this is a brand new camera. It's got the rear facing uh, larger display on the back with the front facing on the front and the pop connector all tying it all together. You can get this from my website at mobiletechvideos.com and it's under the products page for $45 with free shipping. Um, I know you can get it a little cheaper at, from Hong Kong on eBay, but uh, keep in mind that their shipping times are going to be about four times longer than mine. So for people that are looking to get it now, uh, go ahead and check us out and get that for $45. Um, but we want to, the way I like to do this is I like to position the cable first. So I kind of line up my uh, pop connector like that and I visualize it and may not get the best thing on this because I'm going to try to, it's a little harder to do this while filming. Okay, so it's popped down into place there. Now we want to kind of maneuver this to where this ribbon kind of falls down inside the same hole that we're going to put everything else in like that. And that will fall into place. So now that's in place. And then lastly, we want to kind of position the camera for the front facing in like that. So now you can see the front facing there. And we've got our rear assembly there. So go ahead and get all that taken care of. Get your new assembly down into place and we'll go to the next step. Okay, now we're ready to reinstall our rear housing. So go ahead and center it up and kind of get it aligned with the phone itself. And it will begin to pop back on. I applied light pressure there and slowly all the way around we are getting it to pop back together. Some areas may be a little trickier than others. Obviously the bezel there is a little oriented so there we go there we go and if your bezel comes up at all just kind of lightly press back down and it will kind of work its way back down as well and we can kind of finish up snapping everything in about like that so you can kind of give some some time and effort into the bezel make sure that the housing is all back down once you get that done we'll go ahead and go to the next step Okay, now reinsert each of the seven screws that were removed in that original step. And tighten them down to a comfortable, uh, firm tightness. You do not have to get crazy with this. I don't have a torque spec to provide you. Not that you would normally even have the tool to torque something this tiny, as it would most certainly be probably less than inch pounds. So just use some common sense, don't go very tight, we're obviously screwing into uh, retainers that are seated in plastic, so it would be very easy to break one of these. Okay, got that taken care of, now we want to pop back in our battery, and then we want to install our rear cover. Now we can flip it over, and we've got a nice looking clean factory looking front facing camera. Hang with us, we're going to uh, add some support for this at the software level and we'll get back for some final tests. Hey what's up guys, we are back and we have loaded a ROM that supports front facing cameras. We are using Exora 2.2.9. Um, there is a file that I'm going to include in the more description that is a flashable camera that you can attempt to try out. 
Um, I opted just for using this particular ROM. I'll include some instructions as well for editing the build.prop file. For more info on editing build.prop files, check out my LCD density video. It shows you how to use uh, the tools to edit the build.prop. And there's actually SGS tools, which is free from the market. You can add that and edit your build.prop file. So I'll include the info for that in the more info section. For us, we just flashed a front-facing camera supporting ROM that already had these changes for us. So this is Exora 2.2.9. So let's go ahead and check things out. And we have our rear mounted camera, the five megapixel. We could easily use our autofocus. Everything works perfect with that. And if we wanted to, we could easily switch back and look at the camera that we are filming with. Obviously I'm in the bathroom right now. It gets the best light in here. But um, how cool is that? So I could easily uh, take a picture like that. And to check out the quality, I could simply uh, just kind of zoom in like this. It's actually pretty dang good. I've, I was actually really impressed with how good the quality was. So, that's the front-facing camera mod brought to you by MoleTechVideos.com in video form. Uh, I'd like to thank the original designers for this. Uh, I'm going to link you over to the... Uh, to the XDA developers threads as well so you guys can see who gets credit for all that stuff. Uh, if you would like to donate to me for really bringing this to you in a more simple form and you feel like this saved you some time and effort, uh, I do appreciate donations. You can donate at mobiletechvideos.com with a link below in the more info section on the donate page of my site. I will be offering this as a service as well. So for those of you that just don't care to open up your phone and risk breaking some things, go ahead and send it to me. I'd love to work on your phone and perform this mod for you. And I'll be working on an affordable price for that as well. Remember, you can buy just the cameras if you want for $45 with free uh, flat rate shipping anywhere in the U.S., uh, all 50 states, and I can get those to you for $45. I currently have two extras available uh, for the cameras. Uh, so this is the front-facing camera mod brought to you by MobileTechVideos.com in video form. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to us if you enjoy our videos. Hopefully this has shed way more light on the subject for those of you who were thinking about taking the plunge. Go ahead, take the plunge. And if you don't feel like it but you still want it, go ahead, send me the phone. I'd love to work on this for you. And uh, I look forward to offering more products and services for you in the very near future. So check us out, MobileTechVideos.com. Thanks for watching. And if you're ready to try this mod, good luck.